Hi everyone. We're doing something a little bit different today. I have this pair of really gorgeous snakeskin boots. Some people think it's crocodile, but it actually is snakeskin. This portion comes from the belly, and then these other pieces come from different parts of the snake. And then the upper is leather. These are gorgeous vintage boots that I got from an online retailer, and they have an in-person location, but I got them online. Uh, it's called High Class Hillbilly in Tennessee, so shout out to them for these gorgeous boots. I bought them a little over a year ago, and I wore them out to Arizona on a really gorgeous family trip, so they need a little bit of love. Uh, that Arizona trip really did a number on the dryness of the scales, and today I wanted to condition them with you guys, and I thought it would be relaxing and kind of cool. So, if you don't know, leather requires, or exotic animal skin, requires a different kind of treatment than traditional leather. So. I picked up this formula that's a cleaner and conditioner, so we'll clean some of the dust off of it and maybe help some of the lifting of the scales that have been happening because I want to wear these out again, but I don't want to do too much damage because they're very delicate. So I picked this up on eBay, I can link it below for you, and it will clean and condition the boots. We're meant to give it a good shake. before we use it, and I'll walk you through every step of the directions, even though this is only my first time doing this. If you want to see the full boot, hopefully I can get it in here at this angle, and hopefully I'll do, I'll remember to do a grand reveal at the end. So I'm going to move this one to the side, and we'll start with the left boot. I'm going to use this clean old sock that has been demoted to purposes like this. It's a over the knee sock so it's really long. And I'm going to put the conditioner on for the first cleaning process. And then we'll do the rest with a clean cloth. I'm not sure if you can see my bolo tie fully, but you can definitely hear the clinking a little bit. I hope that's not distracting. So this is the Angelus or Angelus leather cleaner slash conditioner. It says our exotic, our reptile slash exotic skin formula was developed to clean, soften, and preserve delicate reptile skins. Our rich foaming formula is designed to easily clean all finished reptile skins and fine leathers. Easily removes tough dirt, mildew, and salt stains, while remaining gentle enough for the finest leathers. Apply product generously. Use a sponge, soft cloth, or soft brush to work up a foam by using a gentle scrubbing motion. Wipe foam off with a clean cloth and allow to dry. Buff with a soft cloth or brush for final shine. And I'm going to just do this so carefully because the scales are lifting a little bit and I don't want to lift them anymore. So I'm probably going to keep this to one direction, even if I could be going both ways. I don't want to risk it. And they don't really say, but I'm going to just apply it directly to the boot because Google could really use it. And hopefully this doesn't affect the tabletop. how much of a leather I'm going to end up working up. Could go for cleaning the tip as well.
I do feel the scale softening a bit, and I think we were working up a lather for a moment. That's a pretty good job for now on that side. Now we'll do this one. I think it might be worthwhile to do two coats of this just because of how dry the skin is. I'm gonna go over the front once more. That's the part I'm kind of most worried about. And I wanna make sure it's well taken care of. At the comparison of these. This is the conditioned booth and this is the very dry unconditioned boot. This is still absorbing some of the conditioner and this I can just feel some of the dust on it. And I'm realizing that I forgot on our first boot this portion on the top, this really gorgeous little detail of some snake up here. So, just gonna work on that a little. This one is not subject to so much wear as the toes are.
a little bit more light for you. I can tell that the boot is loving this. Yeah, unfortunately, I can see quite a bit of lifting up here. Now, I'm no leather specialist, but that seems like it could use a little extra care. I don't know if there's methods for gluing it back down, but we'll at least just get it conditioned and cleaned and worry about other repairs after that. I think we're done with the bottom, and we'll do the top again. I think just like the other boot, I'm going to do one more coating across the middle. Okay, and the last step is to take a clean cloth and wipe down the boots once more to get all that dirt off. So hopefully we haven't been working too much of the dirt into the boot itself. And then after that we allow it to dry and they recommend buffing with a brush or a cloth, but I think I'm going to be very careful with these boots and not do any buffing. I'm just going to wipe and this is my uh, another demoted sock. This one is a stormtrooper. It looks really funny now, but there it is. It's a stormtrooper. This is just getting off any of that excess foam and conditioner and probably taking some dirt with it too. It's not a whole lot to pick up. I think these boots were thirsty. There might be reason to do this again in the near future. Flip this over and use another side of the cloth. I think these boots are looking quite gorgeous. 
I'm thinking they could use another treatment and then at another time I can treat this leather up here because it could probably use some conditioning as well. These boots have some really amazing details and I love I love the colors and these the different tones play really well together. They're of course some of my favorite boots and I hope to take better care of them in the future but here is all step one of doing that. It's looking nice and conditioned, way less dry than the beginning. Thank you so much for watching this somewhat unconventional video for me. I hope you enjoyed my first official foray into ASMR and I hope you will join me again potentially in the future. Um, there's a lot of great things that we could make over here. So if you enjoy what you saw, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.